friends, it has been busy, busy, busy um, around the house and in the, uh, the snake room, but I have finally completed my project. This is my eight foot by 30 by 24. Uh, and this thing kicked my butt the entire way through. Definitely do not want to ever do this again. Although I'm going to have to with my Burmese. Um, so a little bit more in depth on this is I bought these PVC uh, sheets at Home Depot. And this is the name of the sheets that I got. So it, what it was is the top, the bottom, and then the back piece came in eight feet by four feet. So... I took them down to 30 inches deep and it was basically just in my living room um, with a, uh, a hand jigsaw and I had multiple of these tubs upside down. I had the pieces resting on that because I don't have um, I don't have a table saw and I don't have like real tools because I never built anything and this is the first thing that I've actually ever built. So I did not have the necessary tools. I actually had to go out and buy a jigsaw and I bought a really crappy one at Walmart. And that was probably mistake number one. So never cut this up. Oh, and everything on here is one and a half or a half inch thick uh, on, on the top sides and the bottom. And then on the sides, these panels uh, came in four feet by two feet. So I just sliced it right in half and then I did the two feet, um, well not in half because it's 30 by the 24. So I got two of those and then obviously the other one went to the other side and I got a few of these. They're the one by three by eights. And so I took these, um, I took one basically and I cut it. Let me try to open this. So, cut one. I made kind of like a side piece here. Um, I got to bolt that down a little bit more. But basically, so when the glass is closed, if I don't close it all the way, um, you know what I'm saying? Like the snake can't go to the edge and try to push it open. It's going to have at least a little bit of room of an overlap for the glass right there. And then in here, I noticed that it was sagging pretty bad. That's my makeshift light for right now until I actually get um, the LED light strip from Lowe's and going to Lowe's and Home Depot right now is insane like here in Ohio they're only letting 100 people in the building the line to get in is like a mile long and then the line at the register is even longer so anything you go into Lowe's or Home Depot for it's like a four hour trip so should have done this all at once, but I didn't because I'm not because I don't like going out in crowds and I don't like dealing with like waiting and stuff like that. And Amazon is so backlogged right now that basically anything you try and buy, you're not getting it for a month, whether you have Prime or not. So other than that little uh, gripe, so I did the I did like a uh, cross beam on the top. And then I did the sides and that really helped with the sagging. I see a lot of people not bracing it. Um, even though that a lot of people go 18 inches and they use really long studs that will go in here. And apparently they're doing that and it's keeping it pretty, uh, pretty tight um, all along the thing. But I guarantee if you push on it, there's going to be some give. And I'm really wanting to stack another one on top. So I think a brace is going to help it out. If it needs another brace, because I know this weighs a lot, uh, not as much as wood or plywood, but it still weighs probably 70 pounds, if not more. So it's the weight of this, and then whatever the weight of an adult Burmese is going to weigh, 100 pounds. So if it, that I have an issue there, I can put another brace here, and then obviously another brace here. So I have three separate braces, just depending on how I want to do because I know the anaconda is going in here. And she's going to get massive. So pulling her in and out, I'm going to have to leave enough room to get a big bodied snake out. So um, cutting this was, was a nightmare. I got the sides how I wanted them. 
Glass was another pain because I didn't know if I wanted to go with plexiglass, tempered glass, or regular glass. Plexiglass, I found out, is very, very expensive, like almost double the price of regular glass. And no, very little glass places around, if almost none, carries tempered. That's something that has to be brought in. And a lot of glass places aren't even making personalized glass just for like residential houses. So I found, I called like 10 different places, got prices for regular glass because this is not tempered. Um, some people were doing... $50 a sheet. Some people were wanting $200 a sheet. So I found a guy that was doing, um, he was super nice to me. So I went with him. He was on the road. He cut it same day. Um, and then I got 50 inches long, um, by like 18 and five eighths, I think. And then this is, um, a quarter inch thick glass. So I got this in the rails was my was another issue because I went to drill the rails in and I was sliding these and then these were getting caught on the nail head and I was looking at um, I forget what the name is but they do make nails that run flush or run really deep into like metal and those were like $30 per nail I was like that's not gonna happen so I ended up cutting this down just a little bit more so it slides better and then I can, you know, it's got some play in it. So if I need to um, take it out or, uh, I mean, it's in here really, really solid. Or if like the snake hits it, it's got some give on it. So it's not going to fully like shatter or damage the snake's jaw, depending. Um, but anyways, so I ended up getting like some construction style Gorilla Glue that was that you use with a caulking gun. And so I put it all along these um, these channels all the way down, and that's a solid, solid, uh, you know, that's not going anywhere with, with just using, I guess, like the glue, the caulking glue or whatever. So I'm really surprised. And um, so somebody mentioned that from Facebook. I appreciate the help on that, um, and then helping me through with like dimensions and stuff because that was. A little confusing to me because I've never really cut anything like too like precise size but as of right now so I went and I got um, duct tape it's like I don't know skaters tape or something like you can put it on I don't even know what you can put it on I mean there's a picture of a truck towing a boat and then like I guess you can step on like the boat wheels to get in and not slip on it if it gets wet but this is super super nice and like slide it and it slides pretty decent for how heavy the glass is um so you know you can take it like that and then just slide it across and i really don't think i'm going to be opening up that side too much it really just depends on uh where the snake is at the at the point but when she gets big enough she's going to fill up almost all of this so most people do the eight feet and then the 18 inches uh high so then you only need to use really, you know, you don't need to use as much wood or I mean PVC because if you get the eight by four, you cut it at that 30 mark and you got 18 inches left over, you can just flip it up and then there's your back piece. But I figure since it's going to be a big snake and it might want to, you know, have some room to move around in and I'm going to put probably what I'm thinking about for water is I have an extra one of these, which is four feet. And this will definitely slide in there and it'll fit. So that could be a four foot by one and a half something foot uh, pond for her. And if she poops in there or whatever, I got to shop back. I can just shop back it out. But as of right now, um, these are just the tubs that I normally keep my snakes in. They're the 10 gallons. I mean, this thing looks tiny in here. So I'm really having issues right now with the heat. The heat on this. Uh, right now and I got the door open so it's not helping it says 72 it was sitting around like 75 and I am using uh, radiant heat with this for the rest of the room and my main issue is going to be since all the heat rises and my fan up there does not work if I'm trying to get this at like 80 anywhere on 83 to 85 it's going to jump all of those tanks up there 
to around 90 degrees, which is definitely a danger zone for snakes because anything really over 90, 95 degrees, you can start to fry their brain. And so I definitely want to not do that at all. Um, so I'm looking into the radiant heat panels right now. I might get those, just get one kind of big one on one side just so they can go on the other side and kind of cool off if it really wants to. Um, she is kind of down at the bottom right now, which there still is a pretty good temperature difference between like the floor and even up. It's not even that high up, but even there, like it'll still get like, I don't know, low 80s while the top will get mid 80s. But coming down here, you know, it's definitely in a really, really cool area. So thinking radiant would be the best. Um, if you guys got any ideas, let me know on that. If you guys do run the radiant heat panels, let me know. Because I am kind of worried. I hear horror stories about people running that type of stuff, catching on fire. Even though that the website says that they don't catch on fire, anything can happen. Um, the bedding, I actually just went to Menards and I got a two, I believe it was two cubic yards, something like that, of bag, 100% cypress mulch, which looks almost like forest floor, $3.60 in one bag filled this entire thing, not dogging on any type of a company or whatever but to fill this up with big name brand uh bedding it will probably cost me about 20 bucks maybe 30 depending on where i'm shopping from and so i picked up like four bags in this stuff so far like i just dumped it out and it's super wet and uh i drilled a couple holes in here nothing pretty just for some ventilation i'll probably have to drill more as time goes on when i'm checking the uh the humidity and stuff like that but is there anything else that I did in here? Um, I don't think so. I mean, it was just all PVC hand. I mean, just cut just with the jigsaw by hand, I guess. I didn't use a table. And then the glass is right here. So it slides pretty nice. I need to get a lock on it. So I did the 50 inch, the 50, 250 inches. So I have a, an overlap. So then I can fit a, uh, one of those locks that goes through like the showcase locks. Although the size that pop tarts at right now, um, closed. I mean, she could probably get in here, but there's absolutely no way she can, she can open these. It, it definitely takes some, you know, muscle to, to open it but better be safe than sorry don't need, want any lost snakes at all so just being down here for right now it jumped up a little bit but really want this to be around 84 85 i would settle with 83 um but as of right now that is not where i want it to be so i need to fill that up with water and then figure out this heat thing and then uh, put Pop-Tart in here, and that's it. So I do have a fan um, over here, just like a regular old fan that I could probably put up there so it blows the hot air, more um, circulation through the, um, through the room. Maybe that would push some of the hot air down to the floor, but I highly doubt it. So you can see that I do have a shed up there. I will be doing a video on whose shed that belongs to. I do have another snake that shed out and I have another snake that is in blue right now. And so I'll make my other video when I feed on that. And so that will wrap up the video for this. If you guys have any questions or if you guys are interested at all in, um, you know, dimensions or whatever, if you wanna, uh, probably try to build one yourself let me know i can help you out with it i didn't do like perfect perfect on it just because whatever it's done like i could have sat here for weeks and tried to make it perfect but done is better than perfect and so that is that i think total pricing in it not counting me having to buy a jigsaw 
I really think with the glass, with the PVC, with the rails, I really think I'm sitting around, I want to say 420 to $440 or $140, somewhere in there, um, which I think is pretty good. I mean, for do it yourself, picking up stuff locally, that's not a bad price. Um, but that is it guys. If anybody has any issues or questions and they want to build one, you can contact me. I do have my pictures on my Instagram. I did get a new name. It is the same name as my YouTube channel's name, just so there's no confusion. So if you want to go over there, check out my build pictures. Um, you guys can do that. And I appreciate the support. I really appreciate the people subscribing and being patient with me um, throughout the last two weeks as things have been super hectic with this virus and working, uh, working weird hours, and then dealing with that stupid thing for the last week, which has been, there is a lot of blood, sweat, and tears going into that. I promise you that. Um, so that is it, guys. And there she is. So another reason why I did not go with plexiglass is because she uh, she's wanting food big time. Can okay, I go back in? Um, it's because it scratches so bad, and I'm not gonna have that look like a mess. So I gotta get her back. All right, guys. See you on the next video.